The Anderson Fire Department continues to investigate what caused an early Thursday morning fire that damaged several homes, including a Habitat for Humanity house that was under construction. Well, tonight we hear from the family who was set to move into that new home in just a couple of months. Eyewitness News' Cody Bailey has their story. Knowing that, uh, you know, we just in just a few hours lost three months worth of progress, how do we get past that? The Henderson Habitat for Humanity is still in shock after losing one of their homes in a Thursday morning fire. The home in the 100 block of Thompson Street was halfway finished with the family set to move in by October. We spoke with the family and, uh, you know, uh, there was some shock. Then when I seen it, it was just like my mouth just dropped, you know. And I was like, wow, okay, let's just pray on it. And that's exactly what I did. Michelle Poindexter says she and her daughter Maya were informed of the fire by an early morning knock at the door from a Habitat volunteer. It's like my, I just like I, my body shut down. It's like I couldn't believe it and then I just shut the door and I was like, did she just say that my house burned down over here? And I was like, she did. In a matter of moments, months of hard work came crumbling to the ground, sending shockwaves to a family who was months away from moving into their new home. And I took it all in, and I was like, wow, not just mine. And then I seen hers over there. I was like, oh, my God, it's just like it almost took, I, I, I was speechless. You know, I really was. We could have been in it. And that's, thank God, that, you know, that we weren't. And we, we lost time, but you can always get time back. Habitat Henderson says the home will indeed be rebuilt on this property, hopefully move in ready by the end of the year. Poindexter says she is ready to see beauty come from these ashes. Once I get back over here and I see where it's all just redoing it all over, it's probably just going to set up and just make us just want to push even harder and harder to get it done. In Henderson, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News. And at least five homes uh, sustained damage in that fire, two of them with melted siding.